Hello and welcome. Today we're going to have a look at the Visual Studio Team Services and the Feedback Client. My name is Henrik Ulemo. Visual Studio Team Services is a really great platform to create uh, work items and collaborate with various stakeholders within uh, a project. One of the more hidden things is the actual feedback client that you can get from external stakeholders and uh, interesting parties that's not really a part of the project that you want to have feedback and uh, to get it into the, to the backlog in the system. So if you want to do that, you can click on the, on the start button here and on the plus sign and search for feedback. And you should see these other links. If we press this, adds a quick link to the feedback client. So we just add this it, and we close this and save this. We have this request feedback form. It's not really open by default. So you need to understand that there is something like this in order to add this. You press this request feedback button. So the first thing we want to do in this request feedback form is to fill in the selected stakeholders that we want to send an email to with a link to how to install and launch the Microsoft feedback client. You do that by just searching on the users in this field here. The next step is we want to tell the stakeholders how to actually start and navigate to the application in case it's a client application or you don't need to navigate into a remote machine or something like that. But in this case, it's a standard web application. So we just type in the name of, uh, of the, the application we want to test and just uh, type in something that helps help them understand what they were supposed to do. So just navigate and test sound, just smiling like that. And the next thing we want to do, is we want to have a process on how to gather feedback. So the first thing is once you go navigate, for example, the first step we want to tell them to navigate to the website. Does the navigation work? Something like this. And the next step, uh, we just type in sound. Does the sound work when pressing the button, just something like that. And the stakeholders can then give uh, feedback to that. We, before we send this, we can send, a, uh, send it to a preview state and we can just see if we can add a small note here if it looks okay. We have the text here and we have the, this is what's gonna be in the email and a short note and we can just type something like hello and smiley, just so we can see it in the email later. And we just press send. As soon as you sent the email, the stakeholder would then receive an email and, and some, looking something like this, describing to my email address and the steps I want to do. And here I can start a session, since it's a MFB client something, it's an association to an application. And now if I don't have the feedback client, I can always install it using this link here. And we can see the notification here. And if I press this, start your feedback session. It's gonna ask me if I want to install, if I want to use this association. And if I don't have the Microsoft feedback client installed, which I do, then I can always install it here. It's a free installation. You don't need a license or anything like that. So I just press okay to start the feedback client. And we see on the left-hand side of the screen, it's actually starting the feedback client. The first thing I see here on the left hand side is the actual uh, feedback client. And I can see the link I typed in here because it's a web application. I can just press this link and it should open up a website. On the right hand side, it's kind of splitting the screen, helping me split the screen. So I can just test this and the instructions is navigate and test sound. So I just press next button here. I have two steps uh, in the process. And the first one is navigate. Does the navigation work to the, this? It works. We can just type in yes, something like that. And we can just maybe give some feedback. We can take a screenshot maybe of uh, the play button or something like that. Just include it and we can rate this here and just say that yes, it works fine. And just something like that, some expressions like this. We can always 
add more feedback and we can also record voices and add attachments and stuff like that. We press the next button. Does the sound work when pressing the button? We just press here. Maybe we want to have the screen with voice. Just press this and we press. It's fun. We do it one more time. Great, it works. Press the stop button and it should be a recording in here as well with a, with a video of how we press this with sound. That's great, that's awesome. We press the next button and we have yes, feedback and sound, yes, all star, good. It's going to be sent to this default collection, project sad trombone. So we just press submit and close. Going back to Visual Studio Team Services, we now can click on the Work and the Curious uh, tab here. And we can see on the, in the Cure here, we have two new items here created. Feedback response from uh, my stakeholder with Navigate and feedback response from the stakeholder with the sound. So if I, for example, click on this one, I have the nice picture here. And I can add and I can do stuff just like with any other work item. I can do the same things uh, with this one. And we have the feedback for the sound. I, has, I also have the included the, the video we created with the, the sound as well. So this is how you can use the feedback client. Thank you very much for tuning in. And for more content like this one, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a great one.